Peace begins with me. Peace begins with me. Peace begins with me. Let's sing our morning songs together. I'm glad the night is over. I'm glad the day's begun. Hello, everybody. Hello, everyone. At school, we come together to work and to have fun. Hello, everybody. Hello, everyone. Today's Monday. Today is Monday, yes indeed. Today is Monday, yes indeed. Today is Monday, yes indeed. Sing, will you sing? Last week on Friday, a new month came. It's not April anymore, now it's May. In May, a lot of flowers grow and flowers are so beautiful and they make me so happy. I thought our new move for May could be, this could be the petals of the flowers moving in the breeze. The month is May, yes indeed. The month is May, yes indeed. The month is May, yes indeed. Sing, will you sing? Good morning. This week, we are learning about caterpillars and butterflies. There's so many amazing things to learn about caterpillars and butterflies. I'm really excited to show you. So first, I have a book to read to you. It's called Caterpillar to Butterfly. Something is hiding under the leaf. Lots of tiny butterfly eggs. A caterpillar pushes out of an egg and starts munching on the leaf. The hungry caterpillar grows and grows. It looks too hairy for these baby birds to eat. The hairy caterpillar turns into a chrysalis. Amazing changes happen inside the chrysalis. What is struggling out of the chrysalis? A beautiful butterfly. The butterfly flies off to look for flowers. It sips sweet juice called nectar from the flowers with its long curly tongue. Two bright eyes see bright colors. Two long antenna smell food. The butterfly folds its wings and rests. It flies off with another butterfly. The butterfly lays eggs on a leaf. What do you think will happen next? So we learned that butterflies lay eggs on leaves and out of the egg comes a caterpillar. Caterpillar eats and eats until it's ready to make a chrysalis around itself. And then you know what's amazing and kind of cool is nobody really knows what happens inside of a chrysalis. The caterpillar completely changes into a butterfly and even scientists aren't sure how it happens. It's one of nature's greatest mysteries. So after the caterpillar wraps himself in a chrysalis, something happens inside and he emerges as a butterfly. And then it starts all over again. You'll see here, I have a life cycle of a butterfly. Here's an adult butterfly. Then the butterfly lays an egg on a leaf. Out of the egg emerges a caterpillar. The caterpillar 
wraps himself into a chrysalis. And out of the chrysalis comes a butterfly and it starts all over again. That's why it's called a life cycle. A cycle means that it just goes around and around and around like a circle. Something exciting is happening soon. I ordered a cup of caterpillars. It will come to me in the mail and inside the cup on the bottom will be the caterpillar food and the caterpillars will eat that food until they grow big enough to make a chrysalis around themselves. And as soon as all the caterpillars turn themselves into chrysalises, I will very carefully open the cup and take the chrysalises out and place them in a butterfly house. And I have this butterfly house. It's a net so that air can get in but when the butterflies come out of the chrysalis, they won't be able to leave until I'm ready to set them free. So the chrysalises will get moved into this butterfly house. And when they all hatch into butterflies, I'll bring them outside and let them into nature. But I get to see part of the life cycle by observing them in the butterfly house. And you can make a butterfly house yourself out of a cardboard box and you can put, um, a netting in the front so that there's air or you can poke holes in a sheet of plastic for a little window. And I also made a sign that says the chrysalis station so that anybody who looks at my butterfly house will know exactly what they're looking at. They're looking at caterpillars getting ready to change into a chrysalis which will open up into a butterfly. So if you have caterpillars at your house, you might think about making a butterfly house and even a sign that says Chrysalis Station. I hope that you enjoyed learning a little bit about caterpillars and butterflies. And next time I see you will be on Wednesday for a story. I'll see you later. Bye.